actually in my house garage right now. I'm going to be working on this thing a little bit. Got a couple things to do. Um, I was going to do them out in the other garage, but I got a trailer out there blocking my egg, my entrance to that garage. And the Corvette's on the other side. So this one's going to be done in this garage. Um, got a couple things going on with the house, so I can't go anywhere. But uh, my furnace room is flooding because the drain isn't working that the HVAC unit drains into. I'm thinking it's not plugged up, but the septic tank is too full because I already checked it and it's getting up there pretty high. So I'm thinking that it's not draining into the septic tank like it should. Um, so I got somebody coming over tomorrow to do that. and um, Got doctor appointments for the wife tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, and uh, anyway, I'm gonna play with the truck in this garage this time. I gotta go get a couple wrenches and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna be putting Bilstein 5100 shocks on the rear. I've got the front ones as well, but I can't uh, I can't do anything with the front ones until I get a spring compressor. And I gotta go to the store in town to rent one or take the shocks in and have somebody else do it for me. But uh, I don't have a mower either because it's broke, so I gotta call somebody to have it mowed on Wednesday. <laughs> it's uh, it's all piling up this week, so a lot of money going out. Unfortunately, but anyway, such is life. Let's get busy with this truck and get these shocks changed out. Right now, it's got the original high country or rough country or whatever they call them. I think it's rough country shocks on there. So, I heard the Bill Stein, Bill Steens are a major upgrade compared to what those are. So, we're gonna hopefully enjoy them. So, let's get to wrenching. And here's what the new ones look like. And the correct way to install these is you got to be able to read that label. So the boot on these, this is a 2016 Silverado by the way. Uh, the correct way to put these on is just like this so the boot is down and you're able to read the, the label correctly. And here's the what I got for this truck. That's the part number. And I got some nice stickers to go on my toolbox. So that would be fun. That's like a little rust. We're living in Nebraska now, so we got a rust to deal with. But uh, the bolts are 21 millimeter size, both nut and head. This one's got a captured nut on it, so we just got to get the 21 millimeter on it. And go from there. Let's see if we can get this going. First it was chop wheat, chop wheat, chop wheat. And I fixed that and it was pucka 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 like old banner rooster. brought this electric ratchet, but I honestly don't know if it's going to do the job. We'll see. Might have to go get me just a regular sock ratchet. Nope, not going to work. Not enough poop. It's gonna take forever, but you know what? I'm retired. I don't have to be anywhere. I have nothing better to do, so this doesn't bother me one bit. There we go. Get it almost off and then it works. So I'm gonna go get me another ratchet. I'll be right back. Let's see what we can get the top one off now. electric one works on that. It's fairly loose. It works. Oh, 
worked. That made it a little easier, huh? All right, one shock out. Remember, label up. Really? Come on, man. I think we got it. Jack. I'm gonna go get me a jack. Otherwise I'll be here all day. Okay, we got the jack. like that we're smarter not harder right gonna like this much better not too bad huh I think it's gonna be a much better shock from what I've been hearing so I'm counting on big things with it this one's gonna be on the front of the wheel so we gotta get everything in here so we can get to it Easier to access. Get this thing in there like we did the last one. Ugh. 
There's always one. This one's being a pain. This one's being a pain. I guess it worked out when you want it to. I think my head's bleeding because I caught my hair in my damn jack. And it pulled on it pretty hard. <laughs> I need a damn haircut. Tight now. Okay, that's tight. So there you have it. That's how you install Bilstein rear shocks. Bilstein 5100 rear shocks. On a 2017, sorry, 2016 Silverado. I also got these um, super suspension, I think is what they're called. But they're like helper springs and uh, supposed to take up like 1,500 pounds of weight when you put a trailer on it. I had a, this is one of the videos that I had um, made, was installing those. And my GoPro decided not to give me the camp video, the video footage, so I lost all that. But a good friend of mine told me about these, and I bought them, and haven't had to use them yet. But we'll hopefully someday. So the rears are done now. Um, I'm going to concentrate on front ones when I get time, but that won't be till probably at least later on in the week at the earliest. Most likely next week, sometime. I don't know what happens with the wife's doctors and everything else that's going on in life. But uh, that's for another time. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go do something else with the truck now. Um, I got a new bed liner for it. Uh, one of those bed rugs, bed liners. I had one in my other truck and I really liked it. So got one for this. So I got one for this one too. So I'm going to do that now. Got the stickers on my toolbox. Bill Steens. Yay. This is our next project. This is a bed rug I got actually from Chevy dealership. I'm gonna put it in the back of the truck and uh, I like it. I like the bed rug a lot better than what's in there. It's got a piece of rubber right now. But I like this a lot better. You gotta zip it all together and then slap it in. It's held in by Velcro too. We got it all zippered up. It's got a zipper that goes all the way around the perimeter to tie it together. Now I just need to put some Velcro in here. And first thing I need to do is take the truck down and get it washed out. Here's what it looks like on the other side. I got the bed all washed out. I gotta jump and uh, drive it up on the yard and get my angle on it so the water will run out along with the dirt. Now I let it dry and then I'll go put the, the liner back in. Liner in for the first time. I already got a spray of that liner. I forgot that it had. I got the Velcro all lined up, hopefully. Getting ready to go in. The bed's all dried out. Wipe it down with alcohol. So we'll see if we can get her stuck down. All right, we got the bed liner in. It's not perfect, but it's not for what it is. I think it looks much better this way. I like it. Close this thing up. Call it a day. I'll tell you one thing. Allergies are pollen really bad right now because of the wind. But uh, this hair and this wind, as windy, I mean, I didn't know Nebraska was so freaking windy. But I'm getting tired of this hair though, really bad. I don't know if I can make it to July to the concert. So <laughs> we'll see. But this wind is driving me nuts with this hair. It is. It's driving me nuts. So 
We'll see if I keep it. <laughs> Alright, that job's done. I don't have anything else in the books quite yet. Um, I do have my front shocks I gotta change out, but I'm gonna have to put the truck up on the jack stands and do that, give it a day or two. I might have to take the shocks into town, let somebody else do the springs for me. But uh, I'm still debating on that one. So, not sure what's next. Have to wait and see what happens the rest of this week. Later. Oh, you're still recording? I'm sorry. So today we're working on this truck. This shit box edition. I've got the front wheels off. I'm going to be changing out the front struts. Doesn't look too bad. Got three bolts up here, two down here, and I think people have said to take the sway bar bolt loose. Don't have to take it all the way off, but just take it loose. And what I've got is a Bilstein 5100 to change them out with because I heard these rough countries are a little bit uh, sus suspect compared to the Bilsteins. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to show you how to take them off because there's plenty of videos on that. But just showing you what I'm doing to the truck. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the compression spring compressor myself or just take it in town and somebody else do it I don't have a compressor so um, I'm not sure I'll decide that when I get them off I guess all right this is just for reference only this little uh, indent here comes to the outside anyway take these two bolts out here these three nuts off push down on the a arms and everything and it pops right out. I already got the other one out so it came out pretty easy. And just like that it comes out. And we're all set. Take them to town and see if I can find somebody to change the springs out for me. I got these nuts. I got these nuts off. They're the originals. These will slip right onto those. Um, I got it. These are adjustable shocks, and I've got it on the third notch up. So it's going to raise the front end up a little bit. I forgot to measure before I was done, but or before I started. But um, it's going to be raised up just a little bit. To, I'm actually thinking about dropping it down one notch. Just go up one notch. But, I don't know. Let's we'll see. I'll let you know what I figure out. So here we are. The next day it is uh, May 13th, I believe. I had a little tornado come through last night. Not actually through my property, but it was just outside of town a little bit. Went north, about tracked about 35 miles, which is crazy. But uh, this picture here is a little. A photo that somebody took up in Oakland, which is my hometown. It's about a mile north and maybe a mile west of my hometown. But pretty scary. But anyway, got my shocks back yesterday. I gotta get them cleaned up, get them put back on. Hopefully, it won't take too awful long to get them back on. But maybe about an hour. Should ride better. Though. I'm looking for good things from. So. so if anybody knows me by now, they know I can't put anything back together when it's dirty. So we got them cleaned up well enough to go back on the truck. I know they're going to get dirty again because it's a truck. So I'll get to get back to you when I got them on. Alright, let's see if I can get this thing in without too much trouble and before the battery goes dead. One thing though, they aren't very light. Alright, got one nut started. 
That's the hard part, getting the damn nuts on. There we go. Got that one. And I believe I have to do this again. Password accepted. Get one started. The other one usually is not too bad, but this one's going to be a pain, I believe. I have to turn the shock somehow. Hmm. May have gotten lucky. I got lucky. I like it when I get lucky. And they're in both of them so I gotta tighten my sway bar but other than that they're in should raise the height up a little bit hopefully right a little different I'm sure but uh, let's get this one done shall we Now I get the tires put on, drop her down, and take her for a drive. So let's button this thing up and call it a day. Well, there's what he looks like. Definitely sits a little higher in the front. I like it. I think two is probably going to be perfect. So I noticed uh, somebody ran into my hitch cover, broke the mask off. So that thing didn't last very long. So now I got this one on her. That one's all metal, so that should be uh, should be good to go for a while. So we're gonna take her for a little drive and see how she rides. I can tell already that it uh, sits up a little higher in the front, which is what I like. I put it up two notches from stock. I didn't put it all the way up on the third notch, but uh, should be better than it was. I didn't like the rake on it before, so should be much better. Should be done. Oh man, I already tell the difference in that washboard. Usually, would throw the truck sideways, but I didn't do it. I already like how it handles. Much better. Yep, didn't throw it sideways. I like that. The other shocks that my truck would have probably been almost sideways on those washboards. a little higher in the front so it's just good which is what I wanted not a whole lot but better than factory that's for sure it's much better much better so we'll see you later so welcome back to another beautiful day in my neighborhood it's really a great day outside it's Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there I um, almost need a jacket outside. It's like really cool out, but not quite jacket weather, so, but it's nice, really nice. 
Um, the reason for this message is uh, we stopped by our neighbor's house just to the east of us that uh, had Neva, my uh, second-hand helper that was around here once in a while. Uh, she hadn't been around for a couple weeks, so we stopped in and introduced ourselves and gave them our names and everything and asked, her, asked them about Neva, and unfortunately she passed away a couple weeks ago. I was kind of wondering why she wasn't around, getting her treats, and I kind of figured that maybe that's what happened to her, and sure enough, she is no longer with us. She was a great dog. We really will miss her a lot. But um, anyway, that's the reason for this message, so just wanted you to know my uh, second mechanic helper is not going to be around to help me anymore, but life moves on, so... Anyway, it's sad. So, thanks for watching this video. I'm pretty much done with the truck, I think, for now. Um, I got all the high dollar stuff out of the way anyway, so hopefully we'll be done for a while. Um, not sure what's next on the horizon. Maybe something with the vet. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay great. Talk to you later.